Hello viewers, Ford DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here I'll be doing a demonstration of how to repair a leak in your tire using a plug. So unfortunately the other day I was unlucky enough to pick up an S hook from a rubber tie down strap. As soon as I heard the odd noise I pulled over immediately to inspect the tire and then continued to change it out to my spare tire to prevent further damage. This was an old tutorial I released quite a few years ago so now I have the opportunity to redo it. I can go over some commonly asked questions along with improving the quality. Leaks can come from anywhere such as a loose valve in a valve stem, faulty valve, faulty valve stem, bead leak, a puncture such as shown here, or even a faulty wheel. While we can easily see the leak, if you're having trouble finding yours, using a spray bottle with a soap and water mixture, ensure the tire is up to pressure and spray the tire. The leak will be shown by bubbling. A plug can only be applied to the tread face of the tire, what I have here shown in green. A plug should not be installed in the shoulder or sidewall of a tire as this jeopardizes the structural integrity of the tire along with your safety. Tire plugs can be used on punctures up to 6 millimeters or 15 64ths of an inch in diameter. If the tire is too far worn, taking a reference from the wear bars, then a plug cannot be used as well. First removing the object which punctured the tire if it's still there. For this I'm using my adjustable angle offset linesman pliers made by OEM Tools from Mobile Distributor Supply model number 22627. You can purchase these plugs in a kit which comes with the tools required for the installation of the plugs. Starting out with the reamer, similar to a rat tail file, this allows you to clean out the hole which may cause sealing issues for the plug. When inserting the reamer, you'll need to follow the same path as the object took. Run the reamer up and down along with the rotating to help clean the hole. Once done, you'll need the insertion tool which is basically like a needle. However, it does have a slit in the one end so the plug is able to pop out when the tool is removed. Therefore, the plug remains in one piece and does not break. Inserting the plug in the loop, this can be a little tricky as the plug already has adhesive applied. Pliers can be used to help pull it through. The plug should be somewhat even on both sides. Now follow the same hole, pushing the plug into the tire. Roughly a quarter length of the tail should be exposed to the outside. Do not use any lubricating spray to help push the plug into the hole as this can cause sealing issues, not allowing the adhesive to bond to the tire. When inserting the plug, there is also no need for air in the tire. Once you have the plug inserted enough, then pull the tool out quickly and the plug will remain in place. Some people also twist the tool while removing it. This may help, but it isn't needed. It really depends what you're comfortable with. Now pump up the tire to the correct PSI rating. The generic number is 32 PSI. However, this can vary between tire models and types. To verify we no longer have a leak, Spray the newly installed plug and watch for bubbling. If bubbling is found, you may need to pull the plug around slightly, or in a worst case scenario, it will need to be removed and then reinstall the plug again. Using side cutters, trim off the exposed plug tails, and any small nub remaining will eventually wear off with driving, becoming smooth to the tread face. After the plug has been installed, the plug has minimal weight, so there is no need to have your wheels balanced again. The plug will last the life of the tire and there is no need to visit a repair shop for any further repairs when done correctly. Tire plugs are not legal in all countries so it's important to consult with your local laws. Another option is using a vulcanized tire patch which requires the tires to be unmounted from the wheel. The patch is applied to the inside of the tire. A vulcanized patch is the best repair for a punctured tire however it does require more work. Specialty equipment such as a tire machine is needed and can be slightly more costly. As a tip, depending on your vehicle, if you have enough room this repair can be done on your vehicle rather than removing the wheel. New vidders released every week on my channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it's a huge help to me, and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to follow my social media pages such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to keep up to date with my latest projects. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.